Who are we? A simple question to ask, but a difficult one to answer. The Lover The lover is the apple of everyone's eye. He has the body, the charm, and the girl. He's the one who has it all. The Fighter The fighter is an MMA prodigy, someone who will never back down from a good fight, the one who friends can turn to when they are in need. She is the rock, the go-to. The Scholar The scholar is top of his class, never received anything lower than a 4.0 grade average, and seems to have everything right in his life. He is the voice of reason. The Leader The leader was president of ASB, Key Club, and National Honor Society during her high school years. The president of presidents, you could say. She is the guiding light, but who are we really? To answer that question, we must ask another question. Are we really the ones we put ourselves out to be? Or are we hiding our true selves from what we really are? The lover who seemed to have everything within his grasp was the one who truly did it. His mind loved the girl, but his heart was elsewhere. He knew he couldn't just leave her. Struggling with ideas of both hurting his social image and hurting the girl, he struggled deeply, but acknowledged that he'd grown feelings for another person. The fighter, unwilling to back down from any fight, had the toughest fight of them all. Against a man who she truly believed she loved, she stood in contempt because of her feelings towards him. Even when questioned about the bruises and scars, she stood by and lied, stating that she had gotten them during her practices. The scholar is an ever-chasing shadow a shadow that chases the legacy of an older brother. Despite all the admiration and encouragement from those who love him, he saw himself as simply inadequate compared to his older brother. The leader. The leader can lead all, all except herself, as if she was stuck in the depth of a deep ocean, thrashing around for an eternity. The only thing keeping her alive was the hope that one day she will receive the chance for a deep breath of air, her mind. A dark and lonely tunnel, trapped in an endless cycle of, I am not worthy. Maybe the question should not be, who are we? But rather, what could we be? What could we be if we were true to ourselves? We. We could be anything we set out to be. We just have to stop doubting ourselves and face our fears. The self-deception of what people want us to be, rather than who we really are, has to stop. The Lover. If he truly did love the girl, he would give her up. In an act of both unselfishness and selfishness, he would let the girl move on so he himself can move on and decide that his own image is not as important as his emotions. The first step in moving forward is deciding you don't want to stand still. The fighter is at a crossroads. To stay in content with where she is, or stand up for herself and fight the toughest fight she will ever have in her life. Standing up for oneself is never easy especially to one who you love, but it is a necessity so that the wounds can begin healing. The Scholar The Scholar need only learn to love himself. He needs to look deep inside himself and stop seeing a shadow of his brother and start seeing himself. He will always be the younger brother and there will always be hardships to that. It is when he decides he is a person of worth will he recover. He is worth as much as anyone else in the world, only if he truly does see himself that way. The Leader The leader has a chance to be happy. Depression is never something that is easy to beat. Alone, it's an uphill battle that will almost always end up with the person tumbling further down the hill. Alone, it's like going up a creek without a paddle. It is when she decides to not fight alone that she might find happiness. Life could be so much simpler. They would only need to make the decision to better themselves and stop their self-deception of who they are. But life is never that simple. Life is never that simple. And so what? Life is never that simple. If given a chance, life will beat you senselessly until you are at your last breath. It is when we decide, no more, that life steps back. 
It is when we say stop to all the hardships and deception that we ourselves get better in life. Life is not some one-way street, but rather many diverging roads. It is your choice of what road to take. Who are we? We are who we choose to be. We are who we define ourselves to be and not what others want us to be. The downers, the haters, and the fakers. All those who doubted us and tried to change us. Those who made us believe we weren't worthy to be ourselves. They don't define you. You. You define yourself. The lover. The fighter. The scholar. The leader. So, who are you?